Continuing coverage of a story we broke at 11 last night. It's the 14th shooting involving an officer in South Carolina this year and the third involving the Greenville County Sheriff's Office. It happened last night in Taylor's. WY50 News Patrick Hushin is joining us live and local now with more Patrick. Gabby Nigel, Sheriff Steve Loftus said today that this latest shooting involving a deputy, one of his deputies, is frustrating. Uh, he says that in a news conference, he said in a news conference that this will not be the last one either because armed suspects are not obeying the demands of the deputies and dropping the weapon and stop uh, doing what they're doing essentially. He also released the name of the man who was shot here by one of his deputies last night. Mr. Dogan has a very lengthy ID pack rap sheet. This is 53 year old Reginald Dogan, and he's currently in critical but stable condition after a Greenville County deputy shot him through the neck last night. The sheriff's office says he was armed and would not cooperate outside of the Taylor's Walmart. After receiving reports of a man waving a gun on a street behind the Walmart, Sheriff Loftus said the first deputy on the scene showed tremendous restraint. Here's my deputy with a gun being pointed at him, but decides and chooses not to shoot for fear of harming an innocent bystander. And that's when deputies said he walked toward another deputy who had arrived as backup, and that deputy fired. If you, anybody places my deputy or deputies' lives in danger, they will have to deal with the consequences. SLED is now investigating and said there is no dash cam or body cam footage of the incident. Sheriff Loftus said both deputies have been placed on administrative duty, which is standard procedure after a shooting involving a deputy. This is the third for this department this year, and Sheriff Loftus said it's frustrating. If they would comply, especially when they are armed with a handgun, rifle, shotgun, whatever, when they are armed, my deputies are going to fall back on their training and do whatever is necessary. Coming up at 6, we spoke with a local businessman here at this dent repair shop. Uh, he says that his truck was swarmed by deputies after that shooting last night, and he gave us his thoughts on what he, he thinks is at play here, the much deeper issue that's at play here when these officer-involved shootings occur. We're live in Taylor's Patrick Hush and WYFF News 4.